Hi everyone, it's Gareth here from Organic Growing Melbourne. I want to do a video on bamboo. Um, so this is my bamboo I grew from seed probably about, I'd say six years ago. I, I bought, I think about 20 seeds, only two germinated. And when I went to transfer the two that germinated into a, into a pot, I just pulled one out and it snapped straight at the base. So I only had one to play with. And that's this one here. Um, and when it got big enough, I split it and I made a, a, another clump of bamboo around here. Now, this particular variety is giant bamboo. It's the Dendrocalamus aspire. Now, in its natural environment, this, this this bamboo can get 30 meters high. Uh, now, it is a tropical bamboo, but it is also extremely hardy, down to minus five degrees. Um, now, bamboo is one of my favourite plants. I just think they just look amazing. And it's amazing to watch them grow because they grow so fast. This particular variety in its natural environment can grow a meter a day or up to a meter a day. Um, down here in Melbourne, Australia, you know, it's not going to grow that much and it's not going to get to 30 meters. Um, you know, I'd be happy, if, I'd be happy if it got to 15 to be honest. I'd like it to get bigger, but 15 meters would be good. Um, and you can, you can actually get, these can get to about 30, 30 centimetres across, I think. So huge, like a foot in its natural environment. Um, so they can get massive. And uh, this is a new one that's coming through now. Um, one of the biggest ones here. It's starting to pick up a lot of speed now. Um, the more that grows, the quicker the uh, growth rate as well. So when they first poke out of the ground, like this little one just behind it, yeah, it, it goes quite slow. There's another little one just, just around, where is it? Just around here somewhere. And um, But once they start getting taller and taller, that growth rate will get more and more. This, this particular one over here, um, that's a really, really fat one, that one. Um, that is going to be a massive one. In fact, the other day I spoke about it in one of my videos, thinking these would get to about 10, 12 metres, but I think that one at the back there is going to, that might hit the 15 metre mark, just by looking at how thick that bamboo is, and it's still going to get thicker. You can tell by, it hasn't straightened out yet. This one here hasn't straightened out yet at the bottom, and nor is this one here. It's still sort of going on an angle. So, these are also probably one of the best edible ones as well. I think here you can eat these ones actually raw as well. But um, he's probably, when they're a bit older, uh, or the bamboos are a bit older, you're getting bigger, bigger cones like that. Um, you just cut it at the base and then you peel all back. You peel all these back, all these back until you get to a pretty much a white flesh which you can just cut up, grate and use in all sorts of Asian dishes. Um, but another thing is, is I think bamboo has a really bad name. Um, people get scared when they hear bamboo. There's two different varieties of bamboo. There's the clumping variety, which is this one, and you've got the, the invasive running bamboo which can send off runners under the ground for metres and metres and metres before it starts sprouting out again. Um, now they're invasive, I've had one of those in front of my property, it took me three years to kill it. Um, it had fully taken over the side of my front yard and my neighbour's front garden. Um, 
It's horrible stuff. Um, but this clumping bamboo, if you look at this, there's one, there's one coming up here, and then you've got these two coming up here. So there and there. That's how wide it is. That is about. It's not quite a meter. Not quite a meter apart. Those two. And I've had this bamboo in the garden for, I think I said six years, roughly. Six or seven years I've had this in, from seed. From seed. So, you can see it doesn't take over the garden. These are going to be whopping bamboo. But, another good thing about this clumping bamboo is, once these get too big, and I'll, I'll get to one, I'll zoom into this one here, this bigger one here. So you can see it. That. So this, when they get too big, you can just grab that, and that is so tender. You snap that off at the ground there, flip it over, and um, that won't come out. You've stopped it from coming out as far as you want. I'd like to get it a little bit wider than this. Um, and it's a very tight. Uh, growing bamboo as well so you'll get bamboo growing really really close to each other you can see those two there those two there have grown right next to each other you can almost make a wall out of it bamboo I would highly recommend growing a bamboo in the garden especially if it's an edible variety um, this particular variety here being a giant bamboo you really need room for it um, they recommend having a large property to grow this particular bamboo because it is massive but there are smaller varieties out there which might their you know, max height might only get to 15 meters which is still quite large and a lot more um, manageable in your small garden but so people uh, don't get confused these two different varieties they are a fantastic plant to grow I would highly recommend them as long as they're the clumping variety and you purchase the type suitable for your yard these will eventually be harvest to eat because um, eventually I'd like to make my whole um, garden edible pretty much everything I want edible um, I'd like to plant a lot more perennials and this, this you, might, yeah, you could call this a perennial it's going to keep on producing shoots for you for, for life and, um, and they look fantastic and the, the taller they get the, the less leaves you'll have at the bottom so it'll look a lot more ornamental when it gets to its fuller size as well um, I hope this uh, video has been helpful um, you know, if you would like to leave a comment or know more about some varieties of bamboo, leave a comment and I will um, answer that as soon as I possibly can. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share because that would be awesome. Um, and I think I'll wrap this one up until the next video. See you later. Bye.